we all look for aliens out there but could we not be the one there are more than 8.7 million species around us but we as one is the only species who cooks a meal wears clothes and most recent tries space exploration continuously why only one species is it possible that we were looking for a habitable planet millions of years ago and then found mama earth we reached to earth via space travel and that's why now we are repeating what we were good at back to space travel because that's in our blood let's get to the bottom of it universe is estimated to be 13.8 billion years old but the numbers too big to talk with let's convert it into a day so big bang happened exactly 24 hours ago all right so we all are currently at exactly 23 hours 59 minutes and 59 seconds and so on okay exactly after 16 hours 10 minutes and 26 seconds later A rocky mantle and solid crust originated from the death of some star was rotating around our sun. And its gravity started pulling swirling gas and dust into become the third planet in our solar system, planet Earth. After nearly 10 minutes, oceans formed. The Earth officially turned a valid candidate to habitat life. Changes in the orbits of all the other planets along with Earth made the bombardments of comets and asteroids possible, which supposedly formed our moon, sterilized our planet, and vaporized our oceans forming the first ever clouds, initiating our water cycle. During all this horrible chaos, something beautiful happened. Here on Earth, exactly after 17 hours, 26 minutes and 36 seconds later from the Big Bang, deep, deep into the ocean, where rock, specifically olivine, water and magma form hydrothermal vents together. For the very first time, alkaline water from the vents and acidic water due to the high CO2 in the seas react and releases the energy required for life. And the pores in those vents were the first home to the life. And right then, right there, carbon dioxide and hydrogen started organic chemistry, which we dislike a little in plus two chemistry. In short, life happened around six hours and 30 minutes ago from where we are standing right now. It was all single celled. And they had one important mission, reduce CO2 and convert it to increase O2. And they did it. They did it using photosynthesis. They did that continuously for 3.5 hours. And because of that, exactly three hours from where we stand right now, first multi-cell life started. Do you know when our world's first intercourse happened? Exactly 2 hours and 10 minutes before. Between who? You per, you wouldn't want to know. Then earliest plants, marine organisms and animals happened 1 hour and 20 minutes ago. Now plot will be discussed only in terms of minutes. Flowers started blooming 30 minutes ago. All the dinosaurs went extinct near 20 minutes ago. And now only living dinosaurs are feathered theropod dinosaurs also known as birds. Primates arose 8 minutes ago from the mammals which chose land instead of sky and water and started living in the trees of tropical forests. And guess what? Brains started getting larger, literally. 
Now let me give you a reason why we all should visit Africa someday. Because that's where it all started. Nearly two minutes ago, there were approximately five groups of apes. All of them were given a choice to make. A choice of diverging from the overall community and choosing their own evolution path. First one to part was baboons. Then gibbons left. Orangutans followed them. Gorillas changed their minds after a minute and they diverged too. Now we will talk in terms of seconds. Chimpanzees tried to keep up well for a great time. But 37 seconds from where we stand today, they chose to separate. Now, the last group, Homininas. This group evolved in a different way. Homininas developed chromosome 2. From two of the 24 chromosomes commonly found in all the apes. These 23 chromosomes owner, Homininas, chose to walk on two legs nearly 25 seconds ago. And after a while, they learned to use stones. And finally, Stone Age began. Homininas converted to Homo habilis 18 seconds ago. They developed larger brains and proficiency at using tools to butcher animals to eat and fight them for safety. They also started eating fruits. From the group Homo habilis, few decided to travel the world beyond Africa. And they got a name as Homo erectus and they changed something no species had ever done before. Nearly 9 seconds ago, they came to know how to use and control the fire. And soon after 3 more seconds, we finally started cooking our meal. Approximately 5 seconds ago, Homo heidelbergensis, descendants from Homo habilis, got evolved and now they had weapons, fire, and one more thing, they started wearing clothes. Their brains were more evolved towards arts and language. Technically, humans were almost, almost silent for 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 55 seconds after Big Bang. Finally comes the protagonist of our story, the one and only Homo sapiens. Last three seconds. Everything we have developed, everything we have explored, everything we have conquered, every freaking thing is in these three seconds. And when did we enter space literally? Point zero 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 four seconds ago, if universe is a day old. The death of the universe is estimated after 10 to 95 years, comparing the Big Bang happened just 24 hours ago. So are we really aliens? You tell me. 
Have you ever noticed your shoulder revolving 360 degrees? Which other species have developed the same function while moving from trees to trees? Recall any? What about all the fossils we got? Which exactly connects each and every dot? So are we really aliens? Hell no. But we are supposed to go in space, that's for sure. We must be traveling the space. And guess what? It only took 3 seconds for us from zero to being a hero. We may have been the first to evolve here on earth, but we are simply not the last. <laughs>